Hey patrons, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, back at it again with this finished scene in Castle Dark. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use the matte effect, um, or how I use the matte effect in this animation. So it's going to be really, really basic. It's going to be talking about um, how I did the shadows. I'd go over that in another video. And then also how Pi is not appearing behind those um, bottles that are actually outlined in this painting that I'm not showing right now. And here we go. So without further ado, let's get started with the bottles because it'll explain the basics of matte in, matte out. So I'm going to go over to this matte layer. So basically what we have, I'm going to let this not show for a, for a second, get the full view, is these bottles that are on the layer of painting. As you can see, since we're animated on top of it, Pi just automatically is over the bottles and these jars. He appears over them. But in order to do this, we actually don't tell the bottles okay um well at least with within the effect schematic we don't tell the bottles appear over pi we actually tell pi to appear under the bottles so what i did is i drew over i traced these bottles in this color so it can be you know noticeable and then what i told it is i go you go onto this matte layer and we have to find pi final okay so pi final is the source he is what we want to be affected by this matte effect. And the matte is, well, the matte is the matte. So what I did is that I told Pi, this Pi final layer, not to appear within this matte layer. And, and the effect is flawless. Now ignore the fact that there's a transparent thing here. That's a whole different thing. Um, I think I explained it a little bit in the last video. That's a whole different effect that's not even the same pie that we just singled out so that's the basic basics of matte out and i'm going to show you how, guys how i used it to um actually use matte in not matte out to apply the shading only where um pie appears because as you can see i actually just took the liberty and drew outside of the lines it saves a lot of time and not cleaning up every single line and making sure it fits pie's head shape and the way I did that is you see this shadow right here. This is the layer that I drew the shadows on. Um, I put it through a blur first because I usually put the effects that I want the layers to go through first. Um, that's just a blur of 20 pixels just to make it a little bit smoother. Then I ran it through the matte in effect. And now as you can see, Pi Final is now the matte. Pi Final is now what is being used to make the effect work. So what I wanted, I want the shadow to appear in pi and so i tell pi to be the mat and the shadow to be the source because now the shadow is being affected by the effect pi actually isn't being affected it's just using him as a space to put the effect in so that's basically how i use the mat in and mat out to make this final animation um i'll be probably tweaking it a lot more in the coming weeks as we get close to Castle Dark being done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit from this little demonstration. I look forward to making more of these videos for you patrons in the future. Don't forget for the hog tier and above, you get 15% off all merch at piestreasury.com. Link in the Patreon description. See you guys later. Peace.